New York City Special Edition with the legendary Jerry Ordway. And the question for Mr. Ordway, uh, you were integral in the Death of Superman storyline. And now I just happened to catch you sketching on the New 52 <laughs> Superman Doomed storyline. And just wanted to know if you had any opinion of them somewhat pseudo revisiting the story of Superman versus Doomsday. <laughs> sounds like the story was good. I mean, it, I've heard good re reports from the fans that they liked it, and uh, the, the little stuff I heard sounded intriguing. I'm going to have to go home and read it. <laughs> I haven't really got, I'm not up on my on my new 52 reading at this point, but I think I've, I read the first year and a half, and then I, now I've, I got too busy, and I'm on other stuff, but uh, yeah, it seems cool. I don't think there's, I don't have a problem with them redoing it, because I think it's, it was such a huge event. It's kind of cool in a way that it can transcend that one continuity. You know that it would be somehow uh, that they would find a uh, aspect of important enough, I guess, to re recreate in some way. Seems like you know. The Doomsday character, as he was created for Death of Superman, was really supposed to be this one incredible physical challenge for Superman that he was going to pay the ultimate price in. Does he? Does Doomsday lose a little bit of that luster when they keep bringing him back and he continues to lose against Superman in every battle afterwards? <laughs> I think he did in the old continuity when they brought him back. They brought him back in different forms. Never really died. <laughs> well, I mean, it, right. But I mean, it, I think he's like Galactus. He was, he's like a force of nature and he's probably better if he's seen less because it kind of undermines the storyline. In, in the other DC continuity that belonged to the death of Superman, I thought that they used him in ways that sometimes made him seem less important. Like they almost turned him into a joke. Like they bring him back and then someone would beat him up and it'd be like, wait, that, that can't be doomed. Yeah. You know? Here's how, there's someone trying to prove how, how strong their character is by putting him against Doomsday and it's like, it winds up looking bad for Superman. Exactly. Uh, one, other, uh, one last question. Uh, your Power of Shazam series, which is probably the best thing that was done with Captain Marvel Thank you. in a very long time, and I don't believe anything has matched it since. Uh, I want to know if you have any opinion on the rumor that there will be a Captain Marvel, or they're calling him Shazam now, but a Shazam film coming out in 2016. Any opinion on it? I think it would be cool. I mean, I kept following the news. At one point they said that... Um, like Wayne The Rock Johnson was going to play Black Adam, and I was like, that would be cool, you know? Um, and they had a director and everything, so I don't know what incarnation they'll use, but it's a really perfect type of, to me, it's like an antidote to the really super serious, you know, Dark Knight or whatever, to have something that could potentially still be serious, but have some kind of character whimsy. Which I, I guess maybe that's what they're going for, even with this. But it's a great character. I mean, it, it deserves to be on TV. Certainly, it deserves to be on, on the screen. I would, I would be the first guy to buy a ticket. That's all I can say. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. Orton. Thank you.